Yes, indeed. Let's get it. Let's get it. Brutally Honest Rap Show with DJ Concrete. And I have my family here, NTO Lave, in the building. Now, special guest, how you doing, brother? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? I'm hanging in there better than ever and, and, and just always ready to get it. All right. NTO Lave. <clears throat> yes, sir. I have the age-old question that I ask all the time, and that being, where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, Brownsville, Brooklyn. I'm born in Harlem, but uh, raised in Brooklyn, Brownsville. Okay. All right. Um, how did you come up with that name? So the name uh, NTO stands for never too old because I'm an older guy. I'm up in age. And okay. uh, Lave, Lave stands for Little Alvin versus Everyone. So my name is Alvin. And uh, Little Alvin versus everyone is just, you know, a lot of people was telling me why am I, you know, rapping at this age and I shouldn't be rapping at my age. And um, I just didn't feel like that that was what I wanted to do. I, I never intended to be famous. I just wanted to live out my dream and keep following my dreams no matter how old I was. So that's why I'm still doing it. You know what? I love the story, brother. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. I have something to say about that. You're, you're, you're welcome. I definitely have something to say about that. Now, I'm 51 years old, right? And, Thank um, you. okay. So, and I love hip hop. So, right. Uh, and so, I got to see it from the beginning, and I had the, the love and the chance to see it grow, right? Same here. Same here. At what point? Does hip hop have an age? Like, what what are they talking about? Like, hip hop doesn't have an age. I think it's because it's a young young market, and um, you know, as far as like putting your music out there, it's more popular with the younger audiences. But there's still a market for older artists. Uh, you know, the Snoop Dogs and the Jays and uh, you know the Nas's or those guys like that. It's still a market out there. LL just put an album out. And, you know, KRS-One, one of my favorite rappers, you know, is still doing it. So there's a market. It's just, you know, it's, a, it's just an older market. You know, the 30 to 35 to 40 year olds that still like hip hop, good hip hop, they'll check for, you know, for the older rappers, you know. And I would always hear, oh, you, you know, if you're an older rapper, you got to watch what you're rapping about. And I understand that point, too. But, you know, I'm a rapper that's wants to be competitive now i'm not trying to rap better than you know the younger ones out there but you know hip-hop is a competitive uh genre and you know when you're listening to music nobody wants to feel like they're in school being educated all the time you know what i mean so when i'm rapping i'm trying to give you bars i'm trying to say what's the craziest things that come to my mind at that time because i know i'm i'm a i grew up in an era where hip hop the birth of hip hop you know with a battle and all of that stuff but i also understand you know about doing a conscious rap and rapping according to your age and you know doing stuff like that also so that's where i think the age stuff comes from mm -hmm. but saint ivan also said <clears throat> The industry preys on the youth. That's why hip hop is aged. I agree with him because they're also trying to set a standard that, hey, um, just look at what's out there. Most right. of these guys are not talking to guys like us. Right. We're, we are not like, I mean, we try to give it a listen. And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes some of them had a little skills. Some of them have a little skill. But then right. most, they just talk in foolishness. And the, and the skill and the art of hip hop is not there in them. Right. And this is no disrespect. Right. Now, here's what I want to say. For me, the dopest artists are 35 and up. Fact. Not saying that some of the other ones that, that are not, you know, because there's some dope young ones, right? But yes. the ones that embrace the art, that embrace the culture, those are the ones, right? Right. But right. It, that's just like saying, that's just like saying, okay, um, a song, right? Like it's take, it takes, 
It Takes Two. Right. That's an old song. Is it age? No, that song is going to be forever dope. Forever. Exactly. Dope music never dies. Exactly. So, Um, go ahead. I was just thinking, you know, it's it's like, uh, you know, the 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 thirty five to forty year old rappers out now. You know, we came from an era where you know you had to be genuine. You know, no one was trying to sound like anyone else. You know, you had to come out and have your own identity and your own sound. And people weren't afraid to do like the X Clan records. You know, or the self destruction right. 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 We wasn't we wasn't scared to do that. Now it's we're at a point where it's, you know, they are preying on the young with, you know, the drill and you know, the club music and all the time, which is good. I, I love to go to the party and club. I don't wanna listen to, you know, a record about going to church if I'm in a club, you know what I mean? But I understand mm-hmm. it, but I feel like as a true artist and I'm an artist and I'm old, you know, I'm 48. And, you know, I, for some reason, even when I say I'm going to stop, I'm like, oh, I'm going to stop. I'm not doing it. I'm too old. And then I'll hear a beat. And then all these words start coming in my head and, you know, songs start coming in my head. And I remember watching a documentary about Michael Jackson. And he was saying how the the, the ideal for Billie Jean came in his sleep. He heard the melody. He heard, that's how my brain works. It's like I hear the melodies. I hear, so I want to go in the studio and try to mimic what I heard in my head. And that's the whole purpose of art history, of being an artist. And you know, now we, we're in a generation where it's a TikTok generation and doing anything to go viral. So we're talking about drill rappers who are, you know, making fun of people who's dead and you know, digging up graves and stuff. And it's kind of like selling your soul to Satan. You know, we're struggling artists, we don't have money like that to go out there and you know get 10,000 fans and if you do find a good promoter you know like is it fake is it fake streams is it real stream you don't even know you know what i mean i don't even do business on instagram anymore because it's just so many scammers so you know i just do go the old-fashioned way i put my own flyers up on the street corners i give my songs out how you gotta do it that's how we was doing it growing up posters postcards business cards and yeah. everything. Shout out yeah. to my baby sister in the building. Hey, hey, Ning. I love you, baby sis. Um, here's the other thing. St. Ivan also said, um, he said, it's always been about the lyrics. It's, it kills me sometimes when I hear, uh, when they say, uh, it, it's about the vibe again. No, it's about the vibe for you. I'm not going right. to change because, you know, whatever song came out or a rack of all these songs came out that I should change. No. I need to hear bars. I need to. I need to hear substance. Well, all that I'm, vibing and all that. I've been vibing off of this music for since I was a kid. But go ahead. Facts. I'm. I don't mean to uh, interrupt you, but I'm. I'm gonna mm-hmm. get into something about that man, and people might hate me for saying this. And you know, I hope they don't hate me for saying this. But this is my opinion, and it might not be right or wrong. But for my opinion, I feel that the the lyricism came from the boom bap era, right? Of course. The Big Daddy mm-hmm. King, Rock Hymns and everything like that, right? Boom bap kind of lost its way. And then the West Coast took over, right? With the Trap and the T.I.s and the Snoop Dogs and all of that. And I'm not saying that those guys aren't lyricists, but if you look at when everybody mentions the top five greatest rappers of all time, five of those guys are from New York or the boom bap era. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, right. uh, you know, so now we're in a trap vibe where the lyric, the lyricism isn't that important anymore. It's more about the vibe, about the trap, about the bounce. And, you know, now you have the auto-tune era where everybody's auto-tuning. And the reason why I don't auto-tune is because I feel like the auto-tune takes away from the emphasis of what I'm saying. Well, let me let me say this. Here's another thing that um, uh, um, St. Ivan said. He said a lot of older, a lot of, of the older artists have become the gatekeepers. That's another true uh, statement right there. They they really have. And see, the, the, the thing about it is this. A lot of, you had spoke on this earlier, the, the record labels, right? Right. 
when people started becoming independent, they don't have, that's just like a, a, a vocal coach. Right. Most people are still encouraging these singers to go see a vocal coach. But rappers, rappers, not MCs, rappers these days come out and they think their poop don't stink. They think they just made a hit. Everything they rap on, they touch, it's a hit, right? Yeah. Yes. A lot of their voices ain't right. They can. They, it's a lot of work that can be done with them, but it's not there. You know, it's it's no artist development going on because they at home exactly. making their songs. Uh, it, it's it's not like the business side of it. It, it's yep. just gone. I mean, it's it's terrible. So I listen to underground. I listen to boom bap. That's me all day. I don't, right. you know, all this other stuff, whatever. I try to give them a chance, and but that's also the back burner of the reason why I created this podcast, and I'm going to keep pushing it because it's needed. That's right. A lot of these guys need to hear not just around the way who. Uh, like your music, you need to hear people from different states, different countries, and see what they really think about your music. That's so, um, also, uh, Miss Nicole Harris said, "Is there?" This is a question for you. So, some, some, you're going to get some questions from the uh, comment section, also. All right, no problem. Nicole Harris said, "Is there a song that always makes you happy when you hear it?" For me, um, yes, um. And it's not even hip hop. It's uh, Prince's Purple Rain. Um, I love Prince as a as an artist, as a musician. And like I said, man, I'm I'm an old guy. Like I said, but I really, really was intrigued to find out what made the legends legendary. And I watched Prince's documentary. I watched documentaries on Michael, on Elvis Presley. I watched documentaries on these guys to see what they all had in common that made them great. And, you know, Prince, you know, just stood on top of everyone for me because, you know, this guy played like 12 different instruments, you know, all by himself, you know, and the just the whole swag with Prince and, you know, everything and Purple Rain, just watching that movie. And, you know, the times when I used to go through stuff with my dad and, you know, the reason why the song makes me happy is because he triumphed through all of it at the end. Now right. the um the other thing is that um I'm gonna ask you this. Yes, You're working sir. on a project, right? Yes, sir. And the artist that you would love to have on there, give me five top artists that you'll like to have on there, dead or alive. All right. And I know because I know that we snap on the young guys doing music, but there's a there's a couple of them that I do like. And if I had to do a song, like number one, it would be with uh, King Vaughn. Um, I would definitely want to do a song with DMX. And mm -hmm. if I if I was allowed uh, an honor honorary membership, it would be with the Wu Tang Clan. And I would love to do a song with Tribe Called Quest. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Give me three artists that you wouldn't dare have on your album. Three artists that I wouldn't dare have on my album. Um, oh, that's tough. Cause I, don't, I really don't like to take shots at people because I don't think that I'm at a level to take shots at anyone, but. Well, I, here on the Brutally Honest Rap Show. <laughs> All right. Uh, it Shout out probably, to uh, Shell Shock, brother. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. It would probably be Ice Spice. Uh, Ice Spice. Um, the guy that sounds like uh, Pop Smoke. I forgot his name. Um, he he, he sounds just like Pop Smoke. Probably him. Probably 6ix9ine uh, uh, Takashi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, if it was a life and death situation, mm -hmm. you would have to pick the wackest rapper. Life and death situation. Who would be the that wackest wack rapper? The wackest rapper that I would do a song with. Um, to save your life. 
save my life. I would have to say, you're gonna hate me for this, but Coolio. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> I mean, I, hey, uh, I mean, Coolio definitely wasn't a thoroughness, but I mean, I guess he was a a fun like rapper, fun right. rapper, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, he was he was lovable amongst yeah. many. Um, yes. yes, he was. Saint Saint Ivan also uh, said that we danced to songs with lyrics and the beat. All the songs were upbeat. Yep, they were. Uh, Nicole Harris says songs were uh, relatable and messages behind it. Yep. Yes. Now, um, she also asked, how has technology changed the way we experience the music? So for me, man, I'm going to tell you, like I said, I'm an older gentleman. So back in the days, I grew up with the cassette tapes when mixtapes were really mixtapes, physical tapes. That's funny you say it. Like, I say it the <laughs> same exact way. <laughs> That's how I became known was through mixtapes, but real mixtapes, cassette tapes right. with multiple different artists. And but, but go ahead. Right. So I think that from that point we transitioned to the uh, cds and you know cds to me was something that we never really had to improve on like i feel like some technology we just need to leave alone we you know we're we're a country that always wants to make things better but some things i feel like we could just leave alone so like the cd era we should have just left alone um you know to transition from the cds to streaming and you know not having a person actually go to a store and physically buy your CD or your record, you know, yeah, that crazy. meant that that meant that that fan enjoyed you that much that they did took time out their day to go to the store to get your music. That mean that yeah. that was a dedicated fan, you know, now with the streaming, it takes away from everything. It takes away from the experience of going to, you know, the record store and picking out, you know, your CD and, and, uh, looking at other artists that you might not even have known exist because their CD was right next to theirs. You know, it right. took away from that, you know, and now we have fake streams. You know, I just read something about, you know, Megan Thee Stallion, who they said allegedly bought 30 million streams or whatever on Spotify and, you know, the artists. I've read about that. Yeah, yeah it, it's it's just the streaming is, is, is what's really killing it right now. And, you know, that's, I feel we need to go back to the CD days. And, you know, like I said, DJ Concrete, if I saw you on the street and I said, yo, I rap, you know, and I'm like, I want to give you my music. You know, I, I'm i an old school guy, so I would like, I would have gave you a CD. You know, now it, it's right. a little bit different now. You know what I mean? So it, it's just, you know, the streams and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I just, it, it killed I, the game. We had, we just had a conversation about that. My son and, and another one of the artists, that I worked with like two days ago and actually some other ones that's like my sons or whatever. And we right. was on the phone talking about this, but yeah, the streams have messed things up. And I, me personally, the music that I put out, I have never put anything on no streaming platform. I can sell my own music. So right. uh, Nicole Harris said uh, Shady Creek coming out. No, <laughs> she called me Shady Creek. Now here's my thing. Now we were speaking on auto tune, right? Mm -hmm. I like, Okay, it was dope when Roger Troutman was doing it. I mean, it was right. original. It was dope. Then right. you had T-Pain came out. And, you, and, you know, we was like, okay, you know, we can accept it. But right. it was like everybody and their mother started using auto-tune. And people don't realize they're hiding. They're hiding behind a sound. You know, right. y'all keep on listening to that. And keep on encouraging these guys to listen. I mean, to, to use it. Next AI already exists. There's going to be no artists. It's going to be robots. That's a fact. Rapping. It's just so getting... support the real artists. Stop supporting the vibe because I mean, I put it like this: support the vibe, but understand that there's vibes in all music. Yes. Not just what this is. What's out going on now? I mean, it's vibes in all music. So um, you have a song called "Breathe," right? Yes. Yes. Um. What's the inspiration behind that song? To be honest, Breathe is just, you know, giving a little bit of bars and, you know, just one of those songs where you're just talking tough as a rapper. Um, but the chorus really came from my job and, you know, 
having to take a deep breath when my boss is getting on my nerves or, you know, I work in an ambulance. So sometimes I have to hold my tongue and, you know, take a deep breath and breathe in and, you know, people saying stuff to you. And it was more like, you know, watch what you say before you come in my face kind of vibe that day. You know what I mean? When Indeed. I made that song. So that's where a where with a concept came for that song. Okay. I'm going to ask one question before we play that song. Um, mm -hmm. Nicole Harris said, are there any musical trends that you think are overrated? I think that, uh, I don't, I don't know if there's any music trends besides like, you know, just using the auto tune. I, I would rather like to hear the artist's real voices because I think that I could decipher who's who better. Because I think if, you know, when everyone's using the auto tune, everyone sounds very, very similar to each other and there's no originality with it. So I would like to hear, you know, the actual voice of the artist that I'm listening to. Like, you know, it's just taking off the makeup and actually seeing what you look like without makeup on kind of vibe with it for me. Um, you know, so that's where it is. Hey, I agree with you, brother. And before we move on, Please on TikTok if y'all can hit the hit the like button, and definitely on YouTube here. Please hit the like button, and if y'all haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. We're here at Street Tactics Media on YouTube, and then also um, DJ Concrete One Hundred and One on TikTok or DJ Concrete Produced It on TikTok. Support the movement. All right, let's get it. Breathe by NTO Lave. Let's get it. Breathe in, breathe out so, 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 breathe out so, breathe out so, breathe in, 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 breathe in, breathe out so, breathe out so, breathe in. Better breathe in before you say something wrong. Before you end up in some dirt next to rocks and worms. And I hate police, I don't care what cops turn. Waiting for my ops to burn, lots to learn, not to serve. I don't need a mat to stop a germ, it's a nocturne. Pop a nigga straight in his foot to see his socks burn. Have to put the pipe in the pot to make the clock burn. Dick nigga set on fire, call it a cock burn. Guap burn to make the block burn, that mean make the block straight. Got a plug everywhere, so bring your hot plate. Top levels matching the shorty, I keep her legs bevel, not a rock star. But I'm walking with heavy metal, getting slant by a light skin tan. You got no popularity, gotta go to Walmart to see your fan. Instagram filled with transformers, it's all bots, and I don't have to be a strong boy scout to make a nod. I'm getting shmoney. Breathe in, breathe out, so breathe in, breathe out, so breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, so breathe out, so breathe in. Get a calm down when you in my face. Breathe in. Breathe out so, breathe in, breathe out so, breathe in, breathe in, breathe out so, breathe out so, breathe in. When I open up the fridge, I'll be looking in. Guess I'm hungry, got a show, so go and book me in. Flow tighter than a jar of day for cookies in. School, I was hooking in. Better against me, okay, who bookie in? Odds are not that good, like a judge. When he making a lawyer, come to the sidebar. Game that you playing is old, nigga, like Rygar. Paramedic in a South Bronx rock in a fly car. Niggas never get no play, not even I heart. Shorty gotta have some money, she want in my heart. Women be like, daddy, I'm wet, I smell a dry part. If I could call my life a movie, I call it Die Hard. Definitely differently wired. Gotta clean a gun twice. Clacking it back before it's fire. Gang like a Chinese triad, causing riots. You niggas always putting out cold products like priors. Breathe in, breathe out, so breathe in, breathe out, so breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, so breathe out, so breathe in. Get a calm down when you in my face. Breathe in, breathe out, so breathe in. Breathe out so, breathe in, breathe in, breathe out so, breathe out so, breathe in. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. NTO leave. Thank yes, you so sir. much for that. And I, I, I see you going around at your job with that course or, or the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they, it, it, you know, these jobs today, you have to be, uh, find something to deal with in that manner. So to get you by. Um, 
And definitely. Nicole Harris gave it a five. And I'm I, I'm not sure if you ever seen the show before, but we'll explain the number system here shortly. Okay. So she gave you a five. And on this show, a five is the highest you can get. Oh, word. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Yeah. Thank you. And also, Nicole says she loves it. Um, and she said XR birthday was yesterday. Okay. Uh, if he come through, we'll uh uh definitely wish him a happy new chapter uh miss christina said 4.5 she loved the lyrics oh, um thank you, thank you. appreciate and it and she said it reminds me of an r&b song miss uh nicole harris did, did. Oh, so man i wish you would have got us some more music we could have played like one or two more of your joints but you know what it ain't too late to keep the music coming in and as we build our station street tactics radio we will be playing your music on there because we support yes, the, uh, the independent artists for sure. Thank now, you. Uh, <clears throat> shout out to my family, Brian, Chris. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Brian, Chris. We appreciate you. Uh, now, we have you here for another reason as well, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to use you for your expertise. Now, Miss Leslie also gave you a 4.5 all high numbers oh, so that that was dope thank you dope. thank you thank you tell her thank you very much it means a lot to me because like i said i never wanted to be famous from it i just was trying to live out my dream so this song was recorded in my basement and you know to have people actually comment it and really like it means a lot to me man so thank you again that's why i always mention that this show this podcast here is important because just like you the artist you you're here you're you're touching different ears with your music you know what i'm saying so you're going to get people who don't know you that's going to give you honest opinion honest opinions in reference to your music um now we are going to borrow your expertise and even on TikTok, same thing for you guys definitely uh come in and, and, and you're going to rate the songs along with us. Or if you want to just come on over to YouTube to the real part of the podcast and you can join in with everyone. If not, you can stay there. We appreciate it. We're trying to build up the TikTok uh, presence. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. From one to five, we have other artists, independent artists who sent in their music, right? And with your expertise, you're going to help us rate it. Also, okay. with everybody else in the comment section, will help us rate it from one to five. One is straight trash, or you know, and then you can go 1.5, 2.5, however you feel. But right. five is dope. All right. Got you. So, once again, brutally honest rap show, DJ Concrete, our special guest, NTO Lave in the building, and also our precious, valuable family that shows up every week in our comment section. Well, there's a song called Right Now. I right can't now. see. Yeah. Copy that. That sounds good. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's go. Let's go. Right now. Right now. We gonna do it right, right now. now. Right now, known right to ice cold, 3,000 up below, opposite true polar, niggas don't feel me though, backing it too, molars to kill them, I'm ill, cobra, I'm sitting like chair sofa, oh shit, yo, it's so over, blue ivy Carter, Deshaun Carter became a pop, like daughter, they say that the flow of harbor is beautiful, I'm killing my nigga, rigor mortis like K-Dot, my Jeremy Lin flow, yo, I step in the game hot. They perkins to me over on Blake Griffin. I fall so hard, couldn't find me. Jay Lynn to you niggas, been a waiting mind, witnessing real proof. Thomas is Drake beef, it's been over like that too. Uh, I'm gonna start off with you, Miss Leslie. Um, what do you think about that song? I thought it was really good. I liked it. I give okay. it about, I give it a 4.5. Okay, that's a high number. Okay, what about you, uh, 
and to for me i gave it a four um okay my reservations was that you know like when you're listening to music and you know like when I'm listening to beats, I only give it like a good one or two seconds before I'm switching to the next beat. If the song is not grabbing you right away, I'm switching. So the fact that the chorus was just playing so long before I got into her lyrics kind of made me want to switch to the next beat if it was one. Um, also, the, the beat is a lot of singing, a lot of like soulful sounds, and it's kind of drowning out her vocal so i couldn't really hear what she was saying mostly it sounded like she was on a flow pretty good but that was kind of drowning her out i would like to have seen her a little bit more excited on a song but overall it was a good song let me tell you something whenever i bring something out it's vinyl right mm -hmm. and truth be told i know y'all gonna be like uh well, this is a vinyl that i actually i didn't put it out is I, I produced all of this. This is my label. But what happened was I did a distribution deal through a company uh, through um, in Germany. Okay. Which is HHV. So I got some over here that I actually put out myself. Um, but it was ended up being classic and other people picked it up. So nice. vinyl, I definitely will bring out vinyl because I know tons of DJs overseas and everything that are buying vinyl and so every time i come out with a project it's going to be vinyl um we have a joint from um indigo phoenix indigo phoenix all right i like the name yes indigo is definitely she, she's a female that grinds hard um and she 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 has connections that's that's one thing for sure and um she's at work with it she she's she you know she's a a, a female nc mc that's at work with it and i appreciate her grind you know what i'm saying so Good. i'm always supportive because she grinds so let's see what she got let's All go right. yeah save me Ain't shit sweet this way. Why you think you gon' play a game with me? Ain't none of these whack ass bitches. Shit ain't even the same with me. Add my circle accordingly. No lanes can hang with me. Nah. It's been my honor, bitch. I'm on the bang with me. Switch up, you was never gang with me. Now when it's time to take the trash out, don't make me crash out. Floss fuck niggas be gone before I lash out. Ain't I endure? We'll make you pass out. Fuck clowns with their whole ass out. Killing these beats should be a felony. Should. I be selling pipe dreams. I don't put stock in what you're telling me. I'm the epitome of this grime shit. This, this is, is my, my time, time, bitch. Rugged rhyme stress. I live for the thrill of rapping. Y'all just gapping. Blah, blah, Talking blah. street this and that. Knowing you're capping. Jaws just be flapping. I tap it. I make things happen. Y'all better strap it. I thought it was good. I give it a 3.5. Um, I like the lyrics. And the beat was different. So. Okay. okay. I appreciate that. Facts. Thank you. Uh, and if mm -hmm. I ever miss anybody, please wake me up. I am 51 years. No, <laughs> but um, yeah, just just wake me up. Um, now, uh, we have another joint, Culture Gods, Culture. and it's called Culture Shock. Is the name Culture. of the song. Culture Shock. Okay. Yep. So let's see what we got. Let's go. All right. Rock King, Lord of Lie, drums yeah. Culture Shock. Articulating thoughts with truth, I am the culture. culture. Microphone, DJ scratches, it's for the chosen. chosen. Graffiti artwork, you see it like I exposed it. Yeah. Break dancing, repping your roots, shout out to poets. Post. Your people ain't create that culture, you better throw it. Yeah. And give it back to those vultures, you better know it. Yeah. If you just overweight, stop eating like your oppressor. Reckless, I did this without a breakfast. Check it, it's not truth, I don't respect it. Exit, why you think they jealous of my message? Yeah. I'm done dropping pearls on swine, just leave them blind. Cause people don't care about about truth, they want the lies. Wise, save yourself is how you rise. I learned to save myself by your price. Uh, uh, anti, it ain't real, then I don't stand by. One mic, watch me pop like it's a drive by culture. We been throwing beasts to the chosen. Rugged, we so goaded, I just reloaded. Oh, man. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. They, they, uh, 
culture shock. Uh, that joint, I, I, look, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4.8, 4.9. I'm going to give it a 4.9. It was hip hop. I always appreciate hip hop. It always grabs my ear. Every time. Every right. time. The, the, it, it, they were going in. They were going in on the bars and everything. The track was classic dope. So I'm going to give it that. 4.9. Um, Nate from Upstate gave it a 4. Nicole Harris gave it a 4. And yeah, okay. Um, so what do you got on it, uh, Miss Leslie? I give it a 4.5. I thought it was really good. I would definitely okay. play that in my car. We appreciate your uh, review on that. Definitely. Okay. Um, how about you in uh, NTO? NTO, I give it a 4.5 as well. Um, what I like the most about it is what you don't hear in music anymore is the scratching. You know, the little yes. scratch in the back and, you know, the, his Yeah, they had DOC. Yeah. Uh, and I forgot who else. That's just like in your song. I heard it, it takes two up in there a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. And, and right. you know, beatboxing and breakdancing and, you know, the his cadence on a record, you know, he, he's, he, he has the cadence. I hear the confidence and when he's rapping and, you know, and I loved it. Shell shot gave it a three and Nicole Harris said, sounds pretty good. Okay. We appreciate that. And we're going to step on over to the next joint, um, by Fevermore. And the name of this song is called Alicia. Fevermore, Alicia. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, let's get it. nothing else i can say about that that is hip-hop that is boom bap all right Back. what you got on that nto i got myself in the projects with a bottle of henny and a blunt in front of the grocery store in the corner getting a chopped cheese um along yeah. with it. <laughs> it just takes okay. me back you know what i mean that's the core of brooklyn that's that's the way we sound out there and um you know like i like i said this is another example of a, a non auto tune song. So when you saw the other guy that was featured on a song with her, when he came in, the dramatic turn from hearing her voice to his kind of like meshed with each other, which is, mm -hmm. you know, what you miss when you have everybody with the auto tune. You don't get that. You know, you can't hear that transition because everybody sounds so similar. But it's kind of like when I heard Onyx, Sticky Fingers, and them. Um, and when Sticky came on the end on the third verse, or when Buster came on scenario with the rah rah like a Dungeon Dragon, when Buster, everybody's mm -hmm. waiting for Buster's part, you know? So that's what you miss when you have the auto tune on top of everything. But this song right here is definitely hip hop all day. It's the type of songs that I like to do all day. Uh, you know, I love Boom Bap, but I, I knew that I had to update my sound a little bit in order to get people to listen to it okay nice appreciate your review Honest. shout out to f harris in the building what's going on my brother he gave it a four um nicole harris gave it a four shell shock gave it a three we appreciate y'all's uh interaction on that one 